Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be going over um, just following the directions in this uh, how to make a scatter plot in Google Sheets document that I've made. Um, so I've got some data over here that I'll be manipulating and I'll be going through this step by step in case you get confused by one of the steps. So I've already entered the data and uh, as instructed put my y-axis data in column A and some x-axis data in column B. Um, and I don't really have units that I want to be using here specifically, so uh, I just put y-axis data up there and x-axis data over here. But let's make it fancy. Why don't we just make this meters and uh, seconds, and so that should end up giving us units of meters per second on our slope. Because my y-axis is going to go over my x, y-axis units are going to go over my x-axis units in my slope. Rise over run, baby. Um, okay, cool. So that's done. Next, we'll go on to step two, and we'll click and drag um, the cursor and highlight all of our y-axis data. So this should include also our units. And remember, I put my y-axis data in first. Okay, now what? Well, I'm going to insert a chart. And so I could either do this through the insert menu, and I could go down to insert chart, or if I were a fancy boy, there's a shortcut button that's normally up here, but uh, because my screen's reduced, we can't see it. So I'll just go insert and I'll click on chart. Great, and a chart should appear for me in a moment. Um, meanwhile, I'll scroll down over here because, yeah, I inserted a chart. Whoa, buddy, what's that about? Let's not do that. Uh, I'm going to have to edit that. Let's undo what I just did. Okay, continuing to scroll down. Let's see, on the chart editor to the right. Oh, I see chart editor here. Um, click to where it says column chart to see more options. So I see it says column chart, and so I guess I'll click where it says that. Oh look, some more options appeared. I'm going to scroll down as per the instructions and select scatter chart. Where is that? Oh, there it is, and it looks like the image over there. Wow, interesting. Those are such clear directions. So I'm going to click on scatter chart, and that looks like crap. But uh, I guess we'll have to follow the instructions to make sure it looks better. So let's see, what's next? Step five. On the chart editor to the right, click where it says X axis to define the X axis data. A new menu will appear. All right, let's see. It says X axis. Wow, a new menu appeared. Oh, just like it says, that menu appeared. Doesn't tell me what to do. Let's just keep going because I guess I completed that step. All right, what do I do now? Well, I'm going to click and drag over my X axis data including the column label. So that would be the columns label up top. The data will appear in the new what data menu. Oh, I see it says what data, just like there. All right, well, I guess I got to click and select this. You know what? I'm going to have to move my graph. I'm going to have to move my graph so I can see all of that data. Oh, and the thing disappeared. Well, that's okay. I guess I could go back through the steps. So I have to click here to make that menu appear. All right, step five completed again. Now we'll go down to step six, click and drag over your x-axis data, including the column menu. So I'll click and drag. Wow, look, the box, the, inside that box, that what data thing is changing. Wow. Okay, so I highlighted it all, and the data appeared in there, so I'll click OK. All right, nice. Wow, look, my graph, it looks different now. That's, that's amazing. It looks different. Weird. Um, okay, cool. So... Did we do that? Yeah, I clicked OK, and it, it changed stuff. All right, nice. So in the chart editor, click where it says Customize. And then, all right, so i got to click Customize because, all right, then click Horizontal Axis. Where is that? Here? OK. And then uncheck Treat Labels as Text. Oh, well, it's not checked. That's interesting. What if I check that? Oh, it makes stuff suck again. All right, well, I'll leave it unchecked because clearly we don't want to treat our labels as text. Okay, good to know, good to know. Oh, and that's that's what it shows over here. Check it out. It's the same. It's the same. You click up on Customize, and then I clicked on Horizontal Axis, and then I just made sure that this box was unchecked. Wow, it's just like in the instructions. Um, okay, so we want to add a trend line. Cool. What do we have to do? Click on the Series menu. Oh, that's right there. Okay. Um, and the chart editor, right? We're in the chart editor. And then check the trend line box. Okay, so that should be down there. Oh, there's where it says trend line. All right, so I check that. Wow, a line appeared. That's, wow, that's wild. 
Okay, did we did we finish that step? Yeah, we checked the box. Okay. All right, to add the slope of the line to your graph, scroll down in the series menu. So we're in the series menu. We got to scroll down. Um click where it says none under the label. Um so it should say none. Oh, it says none here under label. All right, so we're going to we're going to click that. And then we're going to select Use Equation option. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, I feel like that did something because something happened to my graph, but I can't quite see it. Let me shrink down my graph so I can see what's going on. Um, oh, cool. We have an equation right there. Um, was that always there? Let's say it go back to None. No! Oh, so when we click Use Equation under Label, it's going to give us an equation. That's like a weird-looking equation because usually it's like Y equals MX plus B. I wonder... Let's see if this explains it. The equation will display in the y equals mx b format, but without y equals written in. Oh, so we can look at this and think y equals 0.5x plus 0. 0 0.5 would be m, and b, the intercept, would be 0. Wow! Okay, so that's what's going on with that. And we just, we just put that in by saying use equation. Is that all we had to do here in this step 9? Okay, cool. So we're going to move on to step 10. And so we need to make sure that my title and labels are accurate. So they should probably represent, you know, what's title should tell me what's going on here. And I need labels on my axes because, yeah, they don't have units on them right now. And we, we need those. Um, so how we do that? We click on chart and axis titles. Where's, where's, where the heck is that? It's not down there. Is it up? Oh, chart and axis titles. Okay, I scrolled down a little bit. So I can, un I can click on series to collapse that menu. And I'll click on chart and titus, tit, axis titles. Okay, what now? Um, in the chart editor. Oh, it, okay, it's set in the chart editor. Um, then modify the chart and axis titles. What, what does this say? Okay, so we're going to click on this menu. Select either the title and axis um, by clicking here where it says chart title. Oh, I see. And so I can label the different axes from there. And I can type their titles here. So I guess I'll call my chart title like a uh, um, position versus time. That's a pretty stupid graph, but it's like not really, I don't really know what it's actually describing. That's a really crappy title. Let's pretend this is like for the movement of a turtle. Um, movement of a turtle over time. Um, cool, we got a title. Let's put some uh, units on my axes. So what I have to, I have to click back here. And I can um, give my horizontal axis a title. That's horizontal, so that's the x-axis. And we said x-axis is time, right, in seconds. Um, we got to put our units in parentheses because that's how you do it. And vertical or y-axis, that's my uh, distance um, or in meters. Okay, cool. Um, anything else? Oh, no, we're at step 10. We're done. Wow, well, that's like a really nice-looking graph. And it was pretty easy when I just followed those instructions. Um, cool beans. All right. So, uh, I hope that video was helpful. Ta-ta and have a great rest of your life.